Hi folks, my name's Mark Watson and I'm here at Cosmic Sound in Perth and I'm very proud to be here to present Roland's new flagship synthesizer, the Jupiter 80. The Jupiter 80 is a performance synth. Roland has designed a synth based on the heritage of the Jupiter 8. Back in 1981, Roland bought out the Jupiter 8, which is still coveted today as one of the all-time great synths. What most people don't know is that Roland originally invented this as a synthesizer to reproduce acoustic sounds. It is an analog synth, but it was designed to reproduce string sounds, clarinet sounds, flute sounds, trumpet sounds, and for the technology that was available at the time, it did a great job. The Jupiter 80, 30 years on, has technology that Roland has designed that is second to none. Phenomenal sounds that you're about to witness. So let me take you through it. I'll play your track and then I'll explain all about the Jupiter 80. The Jupiter 80 has a plethora of wonderful technology inside. Based on Roland's supernatural technology, there is the supernatural synth section, which has waveforms that are modelled on original analog synthesizers. Um, sine waves, sawtooth waves, uh, all the different types of waveforms that are available are different to, from one uh, designer to the next because of the technology that they've used, because of the uh, electronics that they've used inside the machine. So um, what the Jupiter 80 has offered here is waveforms that are modelled on the original technology from those synths. So the basic waveforms that are available are not unlike the Gaia synthesizer, where you've got your sine wave and you've got your sawtooth, etc. But you also have an extra 380 PCM waveforms sampled from Heritage Roland synths, plus others as well that Roland didn't make. So there's a massive uh, palette of waveforms to create all sorts of synthesizer sounds. So utilising Roland's waveform uh, modelling technology, I'm taking you to the synth edit page here where you can see all of the parameters of your oscillators and your filters and your envelopes here on, on the screen. And this screen is, is touch sensitive, so the beauty of it is, is that uh, all of the dials and the knobs that you see on screen, you can easily access just by touching one and then while you touch one of the knobs, it will access that particular parameter. So it makes for easy editing so that everything on screen can actually be tweaked with the knobs. So you've got a good combination of good old fashioned analog tweakability here with the knobs and the massive array of parameters that are available. I'm just showing you the one basic screen there of the synth edit page. So that brings me to the sound architecture of the Jupiter 80. What we're looking at here on screen, on the touch screen here, is one tone. Now, in the synth section, that tone is made up of three separate oscillators. So that one tone can be combined into what we call a layer set, and four of those can be within one layer set. And we have an upper and a lower set that can be split across the keyboard. So that means that you can have four synths on the lower, four synths on the upper, or have them all together. But in saying that, there's also a solo section, which is another synth, and a percussion synth section, which can be drums or percussion or one of these synths as well. So in effect, you have 10 synths layered, doing all individual things. So here you can see the sound architecture. The upper part has four tones, each tone having three oscillators. The lower part also having four tones, each tone having three oscillators and the percussion part and the solo part also having a three oscillator synth 
as well. So you can see that the, the, the engine, the, the sound architecture is really fat. I don't know if you're going to create a sound that has 30 oscillators happening at the same time. That might be a bit too much, but it shows you the creativity that you can get with expressiveness and layers and different things happening with the Jupiter 80. Which brings us to the effects as well. Effects are a very important part for synthesis. Um, it creates all the different embellishments and, and uh, reverbs and decays and delays plus other weird and wonderful effects that uh, enhance the sound, enhance the synth. Um, so with the Jupiter 80 we have uh, 76 different effects to choose from. Um, again varying from reverbs right through to Cosm guitar amp simulators and um, all sorts of uh, formant controls to create human vowel sounds and delays, etc, etc. There's a huge list of, of uh, effects there to choose from. Um, and in each section, remember I said it had um, four synths in there, um, there's four effects units uh, that run in parallel for that section and that they can uh, be mixed individually for each individual synth. And they also have their own uh, reverb unit as well, which is a, a fully fledged Roland um, reverb unit that has all of the parameters expected in a high-end reverb uh, available from Roland today. That's also available again on the lower section and the solo and percussion sections also have their own compressor, equaliser, delay and reverb unit that they share as well. So as you can see within one patch there's a plethora of effects that made available um, to create weird and wonderful sounds with the Jupiter 80. Now that brings me to the supernatural sounds. Remember I said the Jupiter 8 was originally designed to create acoustic sounds and as funny as that sounds now, um, that was the intention back then and for the time it was, it was fantastic sounds. Today's technology, Roland has created with their supernatural technology uh, acoustic sounds that uh, have to be heard to believed and played to be believed because not only does their supernatural technology um, and their modelling recreate the sound and the tamp timber and the quality of the real instrument and the way that it moves and shapes and whatever within the harmonic spectrums of the actual acoustic instrument. Also Roland have created what they call performance modelling and with performance modelling it recreates the individual playing styles of the particular instrument and let me give you some examples. Um, here I have the supernatural trumpet up and as I play the individual notes you'll hear uh, the the valves changing and the notes will be sliding from one to the other as per a real trumpet player will do. And there's the other trick. With the pitch bend, every single supernatural instrument that's on the Jupiter 80 has its own nuance of performance modelling. So for example the trumpet, when I bend the pitch it's not just doing a normal sliding down of the pitch. You can hear the trumpeter gliding down and it's moving as, as each valve goes up and down, it slides down exactly like you would hear from a real trumpet. Which is really phenomenal and it's a lot of fun to play. Very, very cool. Plus with the S1 and S2 switches, there's other things that are made available to create realis realistic sounds. Same with the guitar, the uh, flamenco guitar. I strum, it automatically strums for me. If I do a legato note, it'll slide this, the, from one note to the... You can hear the fingers going up the fret. This one's really cool too. This is not sampled. This is not looping. This is uh, performance modeling.
So again, I'm using the modulation uh, lever there to create the timpani roll. It's not a sample, it's performance modelling. Great for cue points, great for making scores. It's just all there, you can just, just play it and perform it. That patch there, called Planet Jupiter, is accessing Roland's new Tone Blender. What you can do with the Tone Blender is access uh, for the four different tones that are in the upper and for the four different tones that are in the lower, I can have a start point of the level, the pan, the cutoff, the resonance, the attack, decay, release, and the four effects sends, and the reverb send, and an end point for each one of those parameters for each tone within those two sections, the lower and the upper section. So that's eight synths, all those parameters, different parts, different points, different start points, different end points that I can control with my pedal or the modulation lever or the D-beam or aftertouch or anything. I was using different things in that last sound to create, recreate that and the best way, if you can see it up in camera too, is if I move my pedal and you will see all the different parameters moving. So that's one of the two layers that are being affected um, and the four different synths that are in upper are being affected, the four different synths that are in lower being affected and all those different parameters are changing and that's why so many things going on within the sound because they're all changing depending on my aftertouch, on my pedal and what I've assigned it to those different parameters. So by accessing that through the very intuitive touch screen um, we can create beautiful sounds that just move. So the Jupiter 80 because of its ease of use and uh, accessibility from the front panel which I haven't shown you half of it as yet um, it's great for gigging musicians all of the instruments are easily accessible very easily categorized um, the look of it of course is built on the on the legacy of the Jupiter 8 because of the colored buttons and the steel sides for people that are wanting to create soundtracks the orchestration side and the in-depth uh, performance of this instrument is phenomenal um, and for guys that want to get in there and, and create new synth sounds and tweak sounds and, and um, play with uh, what's available with heritage um, waveforms as well as new, brand new stuff, uh, it's ideal for you guys too. So, the Roland Jupiter 80, a phenomenal synth and available at Cosmic Sound here in Perth or available online at www.cosmic.com.au. Thanks for listening.